Hello everybody, brothers and sisters in Christ, hope you all are doing well. This is a part two uh, of my last video to believe not every, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. In this verse, I wanted to quote Colossians chapter two, verse eight. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. See, these things that people say, when they say they've seen these visions and stuff like that, that's vain philosophy, vain deceit, see. And... You know, what they're doing is going by feelings, by how they, you know, what, how they feel and say, say that they've seen this and that and they want to feel special, see. But the Apostle Paul, it was it's clear that he's, you know, was called up to the third heaven, but he was, there was words that he couldn't even, he wasn't permitted to speak. It was unlawful for him to utter. So if the Apostle Paul couldn't utter the words that to speak of what he saw in the third heaven, then what makes someone think that they can go over, the, that God's going to go over the Apostle Paul's head and give them some special revelation. You gotta watch out for these people. Because that's how, you know, that's how it deceives people. People can be deceived by it because it sounds good to the ears. And they think that, and they, you know, take it hook, line, and sinker. A lot of people do. And they say, well, this sounds good, so I'm gonna believe it. You know, uh, you know, and some people are well-meaning people. You know, a lot of Christians, they're saved people that can get caught up into this. Unfortunately, it happens. They get to believe, they believe, you know, somebody gets to telling them all kind of special revelations that they've had and for one, if somebody has a revelation, it's going to line up with the Bible. It's going to line up with Scripture. Nine times out of ten, 99.9% .9 of these revelations that people have are false because Satan can transform himself into an angel of light. See, people can see things and they may really see things, but it may not. it may not be of God, it may be Satan, you know, deceiving them. And that's what he's wanting to do to deceive people. See, we walk by faith, not by sight. And see, people are so get so focused on that, they get their eyes off of Christ and what really matters. And they get it on these visions and revelations. Well, if you ever notice of these people that have these revelations I don't know if you ever noticed or not but they never preach the gospel you'll never one time hear the gospel and the gospel is that Christ what Jesus Christ died for our sins on the cross with his own blood to pay for our sins past present and future and that he was buried and that he rose again three days later according to the scriptures it's found in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 3 and 4. But I've, you know, that's one thing I've noticed from what I've heard, uh, especially Cat Kerr, uh, what little bit I've heard from her. I never heard her say anything about the gospel. All she talked about is, you know, it talks about you being in control over the weather or you being in control over this or that and talking about time, space, tra traveling and all that. That's not in the Bible. 
All of that is philosophy. All of all of it is vain deceit. You know, man's carried away by their people, by their imaginations. You know, and it's deceiving people, and they fall for it hook, line, and sinker. And the reason they do is because they don't get in the Word. They don't get in God's Word and read it. They're not Bereans. We're to search the Scriptures to see where those things be so. Because if a revelation is from God, and I'm not saying that God can't give people revelations, that's not what I'm saying. I don't want people to misconstrue and misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm not saying that. But if a revelation is from God, it is going to line up with Scripture. If it does not line up with Scripture, then it's not of God. It's plain, pure, and simple as that. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Because Scripture is our final authority. Thus saith the Lord. What thus saith the Scripture. Not what somebody else says. Not what somebody else thinks or feels. Not their opinion. But we go by what God's Word says. And if a revelation is from God, it's going to line up with His Word. But remember though, Satan can transform himself into an angel of light. So that can deceive people too because, you know, it may sound good to them, you know, and, and it sounds good to the ears. See, many people have itching ears and they want, then they're turning from the truth unto fables. And people, someone, if someone says, I've been to heaven and I've seen God and and I've seen the resurrection and I've seen, don't believe them, they're full of it. I'm just going to tell you right now, they're full of it. And people want to say, well, you're judging them, you're being mean to them. No, I don't think I am. I'm going by what the scriptures say. That's like what the, you know, this woman was talking she says she's seen the resurrection and talking about you know angels coming into people's homes and they're going to be time traveling and all that stuff that there's none of that in scripture and she even seen lucifer before he fell and you know and all that stuff you know nowhere no scripture to look to back that up so that's why i say that a lot of that is made up a lot of it is made up for attention and a lot of people may have some kind of dreams but sometimes you some people are going to think that they're on some kind of drugs or something because some people can get drugged out and have all kind of weird I'm going to tell you, I'm, and some people have visions and dreams, but that doesn't mean it is revel- divine revelation. I've had weird vision, weird dreams and stuff before, but I'm not going out here telling everybody about it. I think people have it, and there's normal dreams just like anybody else has, but they want to blow it out of, out of proportion, and they want to make money write books and make money off of it and you know you got to be careful for that because with feigned words they make mer- merchandise of you and they peddle the word of god and they make a merchandise and you know they try to make money off of it but you if you ever notice you know if you ever notice these people that have these divine revelations probably just about all of them you never hear the gospel mentioned you never hear to mention how to be saved from hell you never mention that you never hear that mention all you hear is well you know time traveling and all this other stuff and it's all about them it's all about what they they had this vision and that vision well a lot of it's it's puffed up imagination They want to puff themselves up and make themselves look good. And it's deceiving people that's not rooted and grounded in the Word. 
That's what happens. Babes in Christ are taken away by this false, <coughs> excuse me, babes in Christ are taken away by this false doctrine. It's the doctrine of devils, a doctrine of demons. And let me, uh, let's see. There's one verse I want to look up. Uh, wait just a minute. Okay. First Timothy. First, First Timothy chapter four, starting in verse one. Now the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. See, these people have their conscience seared with a hot iron because they've spoke so many, many lies and they keep on speaking lies and saying it's from God. They just have this divine revelation and they're departing from the faith. It's, it's getting people to depart from the faith, babes in Christ and to give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And like I said, the devil can transform himself into an angel of light, so don't be surprised, because he can do it and make it sound just, make it sound good. And it does to those, especially babes in Christ, those who are not rooted and grounded in the Word. So don't be deceived by this. You test the Spirit. You make sure that it lines up with the Word of God, with what God's Word says. I don't care who it is. I don't care what kind of revelations, so-called divine revelations that they say that they have. You make sure it lines up with the Word. If it don't line up with what God's Word says, then you can throw it out as null and void. Well, I thank you all for listening. And I hope you all have a, a good night. And God bless.